Hello, my beautiful Pisces. How are you guys doing, love bugs? I hope everything is going well for you. This weekend, Spirit is eager to get your messages out. Look at Spirit. Look at, look at Spirit. Look at Spirit. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in to Real Love Tarot with Renee. I greatly appreciate you. Please make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button. As you guys still view, come in and view your uh, video of uh, Pisces. Love bugs. You know my model. If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. Okay, so only take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's get into your energy readings. And uh, spirit is ready to gossip to see what the overall message is it's going on for you, Pisces. Look how you came out. The moon, Piscean energy. Sacrifices are being made here. I feel like this is gonna be a good one, you guys. Let's see what else spirit got to say. Ciao, spirit. Spirit flipping them, flip them out. Strength is needed. Leo energy. What else, spirit? Oh, and repentance. Okay. This is the main energy, Pisces. Pisces, you guys are. This is so emotional. This is a lot of emotion. First card came out the moon. Normally, I would say, you know, there's secrets and hidden, you know, illusions, whatever, right? No, this is emotion. This is your energy, and it is you, Pisces. Hello. So funny how the moon comes out, and that's like you. That's you. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Okay, you know what? Before I go, because this reading came out like this, I want to see um, what's kind of going on. Hold on. Um, my hands are like a little dry because I've been constantly, constantly washing them, y'all. <laughs> and y'all know why. I ain't even going to get into why because y'all just know. Like constantly washing, sanitizing, you already know what it is, okay? Um, Pisces, let me just get into this. Um Oof, and I will put this on right before I touch these cards. But spirit, just bear with me, y'all. Hold on, bear with me, cause I don't want I don't want these to be oily either. Oof, okay, pat, 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 pat. Yeah, I've been doing this like crazy, almost like oh, it's like an addiction, almost. Okay, so you guys, I do have the fifth edition <laughs> hood day cards. Woo woo! Right, you guys. Yes, I did create these. My Patreon members have seen these already. Okay, I'm going to get um, some 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 clarifying messages. I mean, some intuitive clarifying messages um, from this deck, okay? This is a little different from the normal hood deck. You know, the hood deck, you know, goes into the story. So this this too, but, you know, it tells, you know, it tells additional stories, right? So let's see. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, please give me honest messages regarding Pisces and love. Yeah, rise above. Ooh. Yeah, rise above, fell out. Okay, so, yeah, this is what you guys need to do. Give me more messages, Spirit, from the Intuitive Deck, 5th Edition Hood Cards. Yes. Oh, wow. Let's see. Give me more. Any more messages, Spirit? Okay, I'll take them. All right, so let's start there and see what um, is going on in your energies. Okay, so we have rise above. Okay, somebody's been trauma uh, bonding, right? Trauma bonding. And then spirit is also saying that it's time for you to set your intentions. Okay, so, you know, take what resonates you guys and leave the rest. And these, um, these messages do, I'm telling you, they're very helpful because it does help. Uh, they come, you know, the messages come out in the tarot too. So let's see how this goes. And motivation, right? Somebody is um, gain, trying to gain the motivation, which is clarified by strength, okay, to come towards you and um, offer repentance in this connection is what I'm strongly fit, uh, feeling. Yeah, uh-huh. Look, secretly planning to come towards you soon. I'm holding this card and even notice. And then the repentance card is here. That was the last card out. Thank you, Spirit. Didn't I just tell y'all? And then when they do something, we'll pay off, okay? Yeah, it could be Air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, either you or your person. Well, this this is you Pisces. You're not, this is not you, but you could be dealing with air, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or they want to come to you as well. So take the rose as they resonate, but, um, energetically and intuitively, this is you, this is your energy. 
the, these first cards out of your energy and you probably most likely want to come towards a Libra, a Gemini, or Aquarius. I'm going to just say it like that. I have to, I'm going to just keep it how I, I'm not going to go back and forth because I don't feel it that way. I feel it the way they're laid out. The karmic is in the way though, right? So, so for some of you guys, somebody wants to, you want to go towards your person, but you have a karmic that you're dealing with this in a way. And you know that if you go towards this, this Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, that shit's going to hit the fan. Y'all, take it out resonates. Let me know. Sound off in the comments. Feel Pisces. Yeah, because you want forward movement with your person. I believe that the, one of these air signs is your person, right? And you made a bad investment. Yes, with this karmic Pisces. Say it ain't true. I, I, it's true, right? But, and you need to cut your losses with this, <laughs> with this karmic. That's what spirit is saying. You need to cut your losses. Whatever decision you made, whatever that was, you need or whoever that was, you need to cut that off. Okay, this karmic, you need to cut them off. Cut your losses, right? Because somebody's been cold heart, cold hearted in this connection. Zero fucks given, right? Excuse my language. Yeah, it's unbelievable what you've been going through behind the scenes. Yeah, somebody's gossiping. We got gossip girl here. Okay, mm, look at that. All right, so let's go into some tarot, right? And see what's going on a little deeper. And I'm going to clarify. Um, hold on, let me just stack these here. And I'm going to just kind of lay them out here. So, yeah, some of you guys made a really bad investment. But this, um, this over here is very important. This is very important. You need to cut this person off, right? We know something's going to pay off and we know that you're secretly planning to go towards this air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, Pisces. If this is your story and everything is resonating so far, sound off, I want to know. And so does the rest of Real Love Tarot. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Ooh, okay, I see a flipper in here. Hold on. Let me flip it back. I'm not going to show it because I... Yeah, I'm not showing that. Okay. You know, it's eager to get the. I'm eager to get the <laughs> speed. <laughs> spirit, listen, your person only want me to tell you nothing. Spirit get real eager, right? <laughs> want to tell y'all story. Okay, let's go, Pisces gang, gang. Let's get it. Advice for Holy Spirit. Please care, uh, clarify the moon for Pisces and love surrounding this connection. Ooh, two cards, three cards fell out. Let's see here. Ooh, uh huh. Yep, you want the you want to come into a, re, a, a union reunion with this possible air sign. Be, and the reason why I say you could be dealing with the Leo too. Strength is here on the board. When you could be dealing with another Pisces, you, that's your energy, right? But yeah, this could be a, a spiritual partnership that you want to go towards or some type of soulmate connection. Yeah, Ace of Swords, you've gained some type of mental clarity in this connection, period, point blank. Okay, I can't even make her up. Hold on just a second, guys. Hold on. Somebody's trying to reach out to me here. Let me just... Okay. Yes. You want to come yeah, to some type of spiritual... Uh, uh, you've come... Not spiritual. You want to... You've gained some type of clarity. Oh, my God. See, I, I can't even get my words out right. Yeah. After being in hermit mode. Mm-hmm. You've been sitting and contemplating, going deep within about this connection. I can't even make it up. This is what's also hidden behind this moon, okay? Yeah, clarify the uh, sacrifices. What sacrifices is being made? Two of Cups. Mmm, okay? So you're sacrificing to come towards this Two of Cups to have this new love offer, okay? Or you're sacrificing this karmic, right? Take it how it resonates. Yeah, the lovers, Gemini energy. Didn't I say? Didn't now this Gemini energy? Didn't I say y'all dealing? Y'all for sure going? Y'all want to come towards this Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius? Take it how it resonates. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, and you're definitely uh, trying to gain the strength. So, uh, clarify strength. Clarify strength, Spirit. Leo energy. Clarify strength for Pisces and love. Yeah, okay, two key flying out. Yeah, two, two. <laughs> we got the lovers. We got two of cups, right? Yes, there's two people in this picture. That's two lovers. And then we have the two cards, so maybe two, two, two. Okay, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Mm hmm. Yeah. You could be wanting to go towards this Queen of Pentacles with her loving self and giving self. Yeah. And wanting to move into calmer waters with the Six of Swords. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. You do because repentance is here. That's the last card out. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify repentance. Clarify repentance. Who wants to come in with an apology? Okay. Yeah, three fell out. Y'all see that? Three fell out. Okay. Let's see. So we have a knight of... Oh, somebody wants to... Yep, knight of cups. Knight of cups, the sun. Very hopeful. Seven of wands. Yes. And fighting off any type of competition in this connection, right? Somebody is uh, feeling like they have to protect themselves or... Um, not just coming to uh, protect protect themselves like uh defending themselves from others but somebody feels like they have to come in and defend um their position in this connection right so like when when you go in i feel like the energy is when you go in to say you know your apologies or whatever but you also are wanting like to defend yourself and explain your actions this is what this is telling me intuitively that's what i'm getting from this card right because then you know it just depends on how you know you read it but i'm reading it that way versus you're trying to uh fight off from um other outside competition suitors and things like that no this is you wanting to fight in and argue about your position and why your Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius should accept your apology is what I'm getting here, Pisces, okay? With this Knight of Cups energy. Now, I don't like the fact that you're coming in as a knight. Now, th now take the rest how that resonates, okay? Take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? But it's okay. So the Knight of Cups, we know, is this Prince Charming. So you want to come in with some type of romance energy, right? You want to persuade your person. I feel like there's a strong, and that makes sense because the leverage is here. There is strong romantic feelings towards your person, right? And you want to come in and you know what, whatever happened in the past, you want to apologize, but you like, but this is more like the, the seven of wands here in this situation is baby, let me explain what had happened. <laughs> Baby, just listen. <laughs> listen, right? I love you. That I don't want I don't want to be with her and him, right? I don't want to be with her and him. This karmic that's in the way. I want to be with you. Yeah, you know why? Because your person, either uh, your person has got wind from her girlfriend or girlfriends, homeboys, home, you know, take it how it resonates. Yeah, somebody gossiping, you know, about this karmic. Uh huh. About you and this karmic situation that's going on, okay? That's not serving you in the first place. Yep. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Y'all better sound off if it's your story. Sound off in the comment fields. Give me more energy regarding this connection, spirit. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Mm hmm. Yeah, somebody wants to come in fast action moving, okay? With the two pinnacles. Yeah, because, uh-huh, uh-huh. You don't want to juggle no more between the two, right? This karmic is in a way. You don't want to juggle no more, right? You you done with that. You done with that, with, you know, having multiple options or whatever. And, and this karmic ain't serving you and you know it. Go on, cut your losses and let that go. And go on towards your Libra, your uh, Gemini, or your Aquarius Pisces. I'm just saying... I'm just saying, right? So let me get some more quick messages um, here, right? Because this is the overall energy. That's what's going on, okay? What else, Spirit, from the intuitive uh, messages from the fifth deck, uh, Hood Edition? <laughs> Hood cards, yeah. So either you or your person has, a, well, I'm thinking this was you. Either you and your person, though, has some insecurity issues, you're insecure about this connection in the first place, would cause you to judge and deal with a lower vibrational person, which was this karmic. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, yeah, playing mind games, mind fucking, you know what I'm saying? Having your player ways, clearly because you were juggling. You see him juggling the stones? You you see him juggling the pinnacles? Yeah. It was just, you was juggling like a mug. <laughs> Either you and your person take it out of resonance, but I'm getting this mainly as uh, Pisces energy, okay? Mm-hmm. But somebody needs to do some investigation regarding this connection, right? Yeah. Because something is hidden behind this moon, see? Be besides emotion, there's something that's hidden. So somebody needs to investigate further before moving forward in this connection. Yeah, because somebody was love bombing the other. 
Yep. Yeah. And now somebody's grounding themselves. Absolutely. Somebody's grounding themselves. You know why? Because the strength card is here. Yeah. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Absolutely. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Because it caused troubled waters in this connection. Being inconsistent. Give me more spirit. Give me more. Oh, that's a lot, but I'm going to take them. I'm a, no, that's too many, though. That's too many. I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all want spirit to God said. I'm not energetically. Now, look, see, spirit's like, it's a lot, lot. All these secrets. <laughs> look at all these secrets popping out. Okay, but I'm going to take these, though, because that's not a whole lot. Okay, we ain't got all day spirit to be telling all the business. We want to tell some of the business. Yeah. Ooh, uh-huh. You was in reckless behavior and unstable energy and decisions are needed. Yeah. A decision between two. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. Don't play with her spirit or these cards. Ain't no, ain't nobody. It's all. It's like all of us ain't lying on you. <laughs> I'm just clowning Pisces. Yes, but yeah, somebody was like, you know, it's just like self. Uns. Okay. This was self-inflicted, unstable energy, okay? Based off, meaning that this was based off your own chaotic energy, your own chaotic toxicity in this connection, okay? But you need to make a decision on what you really want, right? You want to come in and say sorry and, you know what I'm saying, and apologize and plead your case, right? Mm -hmm. Because you knew your, your, your energy and your behavior was reckless in the past. Yes, and you have no business love bombing nobody, even you or your person. <laughs> Take it out, resonates love bugs. Y'all know the switch to rose. How you be like, no, nah, it was them. Because some of you guys could be a Pisces dealing with another Pisces who did this, okay? So, because, you know, the moon came out first and that was the strongest uh, card on the board. Give me more. Any more messages, spirit? Any more messages from the fifth edition hood deck? I'm going to just go on and take them because the spirit is going, yeah. Yeah, keep gossiping, yeah. So you want to go ahead and bury the hatchet. Absolutely you do. Because that the repentance card is here. That's what that means. Burying the hatchet. You want to start over. You want to apologize. You know, whatever happened in the past, let's bury that. You see what I'm saying? Let's dead that. Let's kill that. You know, that hatchet, that kid. Okay, y'all get it. <laughs> right? It's the experience saying you won't fail. You won't fail. You just got to do right, right? Because you self-sabotage this whole connection by what? Your reckless ass behavior. I just had reckless behavior in my head, but y'all saw it. I ain't gotta I ain't gotta keep pulling it. Yeah, your behavior is what caused this uh this situation here, right? Oh, where did that card it fell somewhere? Anyways, yeah, and now you're there you or your person is grieving. Right? Grieving over you. I'm grieving over you, is what somebody is saying here. And now somebody's manifesting like a mug to get you back, you or your person. But you need to come in with truth and honesty in order to do that. Thank you, Spirit, for those messages. Pisces, love bugs. Let's get into your angel oracle deck and see what the angel gods have to say about this connection and how you should move forward. Where is my angel? Hold on, y'all. I know these cards be all over the place. They'll be like, Renee. I know, but y'all know how I am. <laughs> y'all know how I am by now, Pisces. <laughs> Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, please give me honest angel oracle messages for my Pisces in love. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. That's all the messages, but I'm going to take them because, you know, Spirit just going, you're going you gonna to gossip anyway. No matter what I say, you just going, you're going to get the, you're going to get what you got to say out. Yeah. Yeah. For either you or your person spirit is saying to reconsider this connection. And you know what? It's okay to ask for help from others, okay? You probably want to ask for help from others who are not connected to your to, to you to you both, right? So that you don't have any biased energy, right? As well as there is something better. So some of y'all screwed up so bad that your person is like, no, nah, it's something better out there. And that's what spirit is saying too, right? And it says, yeah, right now for some of you guys, it's not the right time. And that you need to look for a sign for the opportunity to communicate clearly, right? So look for a sign when it's time, because right now is not the time, okay? You see how it's falling out? Not right now, it's not the time, but look for a sign for an opportunity to communicate clearly. And to at least that's your message, 
Pisces, thank you so much for tuning in to Real Love Tarot with Renee. That's all I have for you guys, love buds. Make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button. And um, make sure to drop those comments. Yes, yes, yes. I want to know if this is your story and what had went down, okay? You guys, if you'd like to um, donate to Real Love Tarot, you could do so via Cash App. Or if you would like a personal reading, my readings are open and my website is also is in the description box below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time, Pisces. Bye.